Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will explain how to automatically delete specific files or folders from all client computers joined to a domain. This type of policy is very useful for IT administrators who need to clean up leftover installation folders, remove temporary or sensitive files, or enforce organizational storage policies on the network. Whether you're maintaining security, freeing up space, or enforcing compliance standards, this method gives you full control over what stays and what goes on every computer in your domain. So, I'll show you how to create a GPO and apply it to domain users and configure this policy to delete a file or folder on client computers. For example, I'll open one of the client computers and for example, open the D drive. I now want to delete the folder named test from this computer and from all computers joined to the domain. You must know the exact path of the folder or file you want to delete on the client computer so that the policy is applied correctly. Returning to the server again, to create this policy, click Server Manager, then click the Tools, and from the menu, select Group Policy Management. In the Group Policy Management console, expand the domain name on which you will create the policy, then right-click on the organizational unit to which you want to apply the policy, and select Create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And in the New GPO window, Give the GPO a descriptive name so it's easy to access at any time. Then click OK. Then right-click the GPO you just created and select Edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor so you can configure the policy. Next, navigate to the left side of the screen and navigate to the path. I'll leave the path in the video description for easy access later. After opening the path, Go to the other side and right-click anywhere in the empty space. Select New and then select Folder. In this window, specify the properties of the folder you want. First, under the Action option, click the drop-down menu and select Delete because we want to delete a folder. And in the Path field, enter the full path to the folder or file you want to delete. Then select the Delete All Files in this folder option and the Ignore Any Errors While Deleting the Folder or Files option. Click the Apply button and OK. This step will configure the policy correctly and you can now close all open windows on the server. Armed to that, I will open the client computer to verify that the policy has been successfully applied to the clients. After verifying, you will find that the folder is still present because the policy has not yet been enforced. You must restart the computer or force a group policy object GPO update using the update command. Open the command prompt window and enter the command GP update slash force to force a group policy object GPO update on the client computer. After successfully forcing a GPO update, now verify whether the folder still exists or has been deleted the folder was indeed deleted successfully. Each time a folder with the same name is created in the same path, it will be deleted as long as the policy is still enforced on the client. Now we've learned the steps for creating and applying a group policy object, GPO, that automatically deletes a specific file or folder from all computers connected to the domain. This type of automation is essential for keeping your network clean, secure, and policy compliant. Whether you're managing hundreds of devices or just a few, this method saves time and ensures consistency across your infrastructure. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos on group policy and other system administration tools. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.